as chairman, I did meet with the prime minister um, in, I think it was 2011 when I was first appointed. At that meeting, Professor Deusran says he and other members of the PSC discussed a number of issues with the then Prime Minister. According to him, a meeting such as this isn't unusual. The Commission cannot live in an isolated environment. Uh, it has to share and be a fact finder as well. And if that means, in terms of executing its purpose, it has to meet or share information one way or the other with the Prime Minister, who is responsible to Parliament, and the country for public safety and policing. Well, that is a justifiable basis to do so. But in the case of Dr. Raleigh meeting with former PSC Chairman Blissy Pesantish information about the Police Commissioner Gary Griffith, Professor Deusran says it's hard to say whether he overstepped. Influence and decision of the Police Service Commission is far different from transmitting information that is relevant to the Police Service Commission purpose. Professor Davis Rund does not believe the parliament would have been the best place to present any sensitive information about any candidate for police commissioner. That person doesn't have any opportunity to explain. As if the information is given beforehand to the commission, they can trick it properly and then help finalize it list. But senior counsel Avery Sinanan holds a different view. When it gets there, any member of parliament, including the prime minister, can raise objections, say, listen, look, file a motion. I have certain objections to this candidate, and these are my objections. And the matter is then debated and voted upon. He says it's important that the PSC also be informed so that the due diligence would have been done by the commission. But there's something else the senior counsel believes the prime minister should do. I, I, I am sorry. I am sorry. Beg pardon. That is what big men do. The senior counsel says unless a thorough investigation is done by the police service, there is no way of confirming Dr. Raleigh's actions constituted misbehaving public office. Last week, Griffith and UNC Senator David Nackett wrote the DPP asking him to probe the Prime Minister. Pavita Goplong-Chan, CNC3 News.